Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I'm Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Hey, as we know, there has been a lot of state legislators coming up with very bold and brash legislation to strip its citizens of their otherwise inalienable rights and basically thumbing their nose at the United States Supreme Court in light of their holdings in New York Pistol and Rifle Association v. Bruin. My state, for example, Washington State, just threw a big old middle finger at the Supreme Court and passed an assault weapon ban, but they're not alone. No, 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 not at all. And in fact, if you want to come up with perhaps the most nefarious state, the most evil state, the state who absolutely literally takes pride in stripping its citizens of its right, well, that of course is the state of Illinois. But it appears now that Illinois may have picked a fight with the wrong person, and you know what? They may get a beat down here. So today, Let's spend a few very important minutes and talk about when a Supreme Court justice wants to pick a fight over assault weapon bans. Okay, so what we are talking about today is Illinois' uh, atrocious assault weapon ban. Now, why do I call it an atrocious assault weapon ban? Well, number one, all assault weapon bans are atrocious and unconstitutional. The manner in which the state of Illinois went about uh, passing this legislation, the nefarious uh, methods that they used was really candidly quite sinister. We covered it in video after video after video. And at some point, Illinois' rather overt corruption became readily apparent and yet no one has done anything about it. Now, obviously after the uh, law went into effect, which was instantly, about 72 hours earlier, it was an innocuous piece of insurance legislation, the lawsuits started flying. And we have seen varying rulings of all different sorts some of which have been an, uh, upholding the law. And recently we've seen just as early as this week, we have actually seen that a federal court judge has actually enjoined the entire law from going into effect and being enforced. And we will be doing another video in which we're gonna be talking to an owner of a gun store in Illinois to talk about the Freedom Week that's happening in Illinois right now. But there was one case against the city of Naperville. Now the city of Naperville passed its own assault weapon ban uh, because, you know, municipalities know best what's for its citizens. And, of course, they were subject to a lawsuit right away. One of the things that the plaintiffs asked for immediately was an injunction of the law. The trial court declined to enjoin the law and allowed the city of Naperville's um, assault weapon ban to remain in effect. Of course, the plaintiffs immediately appealed to the Seventh Circuit, and the Seventh Circuit upheld the trial court and said, nope, you don't get an injunction. The trial court was correct. What the plaintiffs did in this case is a very rare thing, but can be done, which is you can appeal directly to the United States Supreme Court. In particular, you appeal directly to one particular justice as each justice is assigned supervision of a particular circuit of the United States Court of Appeals. Who's in charge? Who supervises the Seventh Circuit? Hmm, well, that would actually be Justice Amy Coney Barrett. And as we know, Justice Coney Barrett is an incredibly strong advocate of our inalienable Second Amendment rights. Now, what typically happens is that when the plaintiff appeals to the United States Supreme Court, the United States Supreme Court will take its sweet old time and then usually say, you know what, we're not going to get involved at this point. And they'll let the case kind of mature, or as some people on the gun grabbing left like to call it, percolate for a while before eventually they accept review. But not in this case. No, in this case, Justice Coney Barrett said to the city of Naperville, hey, you know what, actually, I wanna hear from you as to why I shouldn't issue an injunction and you got no later until May 8th, literally one week, to file a memorandum of authorities as to why I should not be issuing an injunction. So, what does this mean? Well, it means for all of the states right now that are currently living with an assault weapon ban, including my home state of Washington, Bob Ferguson, are you listening? If Justice Coney Barrett ends up issuing an injunction on this, then this will not only continue to enjoin Illinois' assault weapon ban, but this will be a very, very crystal clear sign that these particular laws are what we already know them to be unconstitutional. It will also be a very clear indicator, however, that the Supreme Court is likely going to accept review of one or consolidated cases to settle this issue once and for all. 
Now, if you recall, Illinois' assault weapon ban was met with great disfavor by literally every single sheriff's department in the state of Illinois, none of which believed it to be constitutional and were quite openly critical of it. This law, which actually went into effect almost at legal light speed, we are hopeful now is going to find the same quick death that it did a quick birth. Listen, you may have more questions about what's going on in Illinois, other assault weapon bans, or anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights. If you do, you should know how to contact Washington Gun Law by now, but if you don't, that's okay. All of that information is right there in the description box. In the meantime, I do want all of you to remember that part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about, is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay safe.